Hey there, it's Mandy with Worshipful Living, and today for our homeschool scoop, we are going to be talking about a homeschool organization binder, and I'm going to be showing you mine and also showing you where you can get some free printables for yours. So that is my blog address. I'm at www.worshipfulliving.com, and like I said, today we are going to be talking about the homeschool organization binder. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to get talking about that. So let's get this going. All right. Thank you for inviting followers. Hi there. It's Mandy. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not realize that window was going to be right there and it was going to be bad lighting. So my name is Mandy Kelly and I blog at worshipfulliving.com. I blog about sowing seeds of worship in everyday life. Um, hey, Jen. And hey, Amy. Um, I blog about see sowing seeds of worship in everyday life. Thank you for all those hearts. And um, we so I sow seeds of worship in everyday life from being a wife, a mom, a homeschooler, just every aspect of life. So um, if you are watching this from my blog, this has been recorded on the Periscope app. So if you'd see me interacting with comments maybe that you don't see, that would be why. Um, because I see people chatting down there and you can get Periscope on your Android or your Apple phone. So today I'm gonna to be talking about organize your homeschool organization binder. And I just made some free printables. They're gonna be available um, at 8 p.m. tonight um, on my blog, Worshipful Living. And so I'm gonna share with you my homeschool organization binder and just how I keep everything organized. So this is our organizational binder for this year. And um, this is what we're gonna be using. And what I did is I bought a regular one and one half inch binder and you can get these at Target, Walmart, any place like that. There's a link. You can get it on Amazon even if you don't like to go out and shop. So one and one half inch binder. This may seem a little bit big to you at the beginning of the school year because there's not really a lot in it. But I promise as you go throughout your school year, you are going to fill it up. I had only half a school year last year and my organizational binder from last year is very full. So what we do, what I do is inside there, I have dividers and so I have 15 dividers because I have 15 sections in my notebook. And these are on my website right now, these printables. They will be tonight. Um, so you can uh, print them. And these dividers have pockets in them. And I love the pockets because I can put, if I don't get to organizing it today, if I don't get to hole punch it right away, I can put it in the back pocket and I know that it's ready to be filed. So I have different binder sections and I'm just gonna walk you through each section and tell you what they're about and what I put in them. And then we can, ask, and you can feel free to ask questions as you go. And remember, if you're watching this on my blog and you don't see the questions, I'm reading them to you because they're in the comment section. So the first section is reading. And reading is first because I feel like reading is the most important subject you can teach your child. If they can't read, they can't really do any of the other subjects. So reading needs to be covered every single day. Now, what would you keep in your reading binder? Because really, what, what can you keep from reading? Well, you can do reading comprehension questions, which I do. But the other thing that you can keep, and these are blank ones, uh, just for show purpose, but you can use reading logs. And these reading logs are also available on my website. Um, so you can have them just write their book in there, their title, the date, and if it, they read it by themselves or if they read it with a parent. So we keep a list of all the books that we read. Uh, we try to read at least 50 books a month. So my daughter's in second grade, so that's pretty doable. And then the other cool thing about these reading uh, trackers that I have, and I'm getting ready to do ones for the next school year, is they're coloring too, so they can color them. I think kids like it when they get to color and make their own stuff. So I keep those in there. I keep, um, like I said, reading comprehension questions and things like that. Next is writing. Handwriting, I think, is very important. It's a lost art. I think that we don't spend enough time on handwriting, and so we do a lot of handwriting and copy work. So that would go in this section. And over here, I have lots of handwriting paper that she can easily access. Then over here, we've got phonics or English, whichever one you're doing. Uh, grammar is so important, so that's the next section. And you can keep your phonics work back there. Next is math. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Math has tons of sheets that you can do. So you can put your math work right behind here. Science, I always like to keep the hands-on stuff that we do with science, not all the little work, sh the stuff that comes in the books. Do you keep everything for handwriting or just some of it? Yes, I only keep some of it. Um, 
on my blog post, I shared that I also, and I'll show it to you in just a minute, I also keep a under the bed box, and that's why I do it, the extra work. So I don't keep everything in this notebook. This is a sampling of a little bit of everything. I hope that helps. So science, I keep the hands-on stuff, the cute stuff, the fun stuff. Social studies, same idea there, the fun stuff, the hands-on. Bible, we do arts and crafts and things like that with her Bible study, so we'll keep some of that stuff in here. Music, now how can you keep music? I keep sheet music in here. Um, we talk about different composers and things like that, so I keep this that stuff in this section. Art, I keep some of her art stuff that's paper that I can keep in there. Spanish, she will be working on Spanish a little bit this year. Not a whole lot, because I really think English is important, and I think we have to master English before we can <laughs> move on to something else, but I do want to introduce it while she is young and it's fresh in her brain, so we'll have some Spanish stuff. Then here we've got hands-on activities and community days. And what I like to do is I like to take pictures of any hands-on activities that we do or things that we do when we're at Classical Conversations. And um, I like to keep them in here like scrapbook pages. And so I will usually get sheet protectors and put them in here. And then we put the pictures on there and she helps me. And it's really fun and it's a little crafty. And that makes this a lot of fun. And this helps to um, keep this nice and clean. Then field trips, if we go on field trips, we do it the same way like we did the hands-on learning. Attendance, this is one of my favorite sections because I made these great attendance trackers and they can use bingo daughters or they can use stickers or whatever and these are available on my website as well. And you can just put a dot or a sticker on each day that the child is in school. And they actually do it themselves, so this keeps them responsible for helping. Now, I do keep track in my lesson plan book as well of what days we do school. But this actually, I've already written on here all the days that we're going to do school for the year. Um, so I've counted that we actually have we year-round homeschool. So we actually have 200 days available. So that means out of the 180 days that we had to have for our state, we have 200, so that means I have plenty of room for flexibility um, for other things. So these are also available on my website. And I like to print them out on cardstock so that they're heavier, so that these bingo daubers um, don't go through the, bleed through the paper. So those are in there. And then we have a section for important documents, things that are important. Thank you. I'm so glad you like that idea. Um, important ideas or important, <laughs> I'm sorry, she said ideas. Important documents that you might need to keep. We just went to practicum, so I was able to keep um, some things from classical conversations in here. Now, I don't have divider covers for these last. Hey there. Um, I don't have dividers for these last two, but this one is because you get 16 or 18 of these dividers. So this is just like extra stuff that I find online. Like this is for a sensory table. These are different snack ideas. I keep that kind of stuff in here. And then I still have one section that I can do whatever I need to do with. So if I find that there's something else I need to keep, if I need special stuff for classical conversations to put in, she's got a section in her notebook that can be used for that as well. So the other cool thing that we do um, and I didn't have this, but if you give me just a second, I will get it for us, is I use these. These are zipper pouches, and these zipper pouches um, are awesome to keep flashcards in or other things like that, and you can just put this right inside here, and now you've got homeschooling on the go, um, which is really important because, you know what, we have to homeschool wherever we're at, so this is really, that's really helpful so that this is really compact. It makes it easy for me to carry um, different places um, and do different things with it. So I don't feel like that constraint to be here. I can put work in here um, so that we're ready to go for the day. And then this can go with me. Um, you know, if I have classical or if we have to turn stuff into the state, this is, like I said, this is only a sampling of her work. I don't keep everything in there. Where on your blog can I find how you organize your binder? Great question. That is going to be live tonight. It's going live at 8 o'clock tonight, 8 p.m. The whole written post will be with it. So, and then this video will be there too so that you can, um, you can reference that again so you can see how to set up yours. Thanks for that great question. So, this, is an, this has been a lifesaver for me. It is like the portfolio that a lot of states ask you to hold on to um, for a sampling of work. What is my blog? My blog is worshipfulliving.com. I'm going to flip the camera over and I'll show you the website address. Oh, maybe it's not going to let me. Oh, there it is. 
So there it is, Worshipful Living, Sowing Seeds of Worship in Everyday Life. I blog about being a wife, a mom, a daughter of the king, and a homeschooler. So homeschooling is new for us, but we are very excited about it. I also um, do a lot of stuff with Good Morning Girls because I'm on the Good Morning Girl leadership team. One other thing I wanted to show you, somebody asked if everything goes in this binder. The answer is no. Um, great, I'm glad you were able to take a screenshot. Um, the other thing is, no, not everything goes in this binder. I only put a sampling. I do like every other day of math, um, important things for English, things that I think need to be on grade level. I try to keep those things um, just in case our state decides that they want to see what we're up to. So this is what I do with everything else. I'm gonna flip this back around. I have one of these boxes and everything else goes in there. She knows that if it doesn't stay in her binder, she's gonna put it in that box. So, um, and then I'm able to just put the lid on that box and then it goes in our garage or under the bed. Um, I am in the South, Dreama. I can't give too much information away, but I am in the South. I will say that, South Carolina. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> I, we're in the middle of an ado adoption process, so I have to be a little bit careful of some of the things I share online. So, um, so anyway, that is what how we um, organize some of our homeschooling stuff. I do Periscope. Oh, you're in North Carolina. Awesome. I do Periscope a couple times a day. Um, I don't just scope about homeschooling, but I do scope about that a lot. I scope about um, being a wife and mom, usually around 6 o'clock in the evenings if I have something to share. And I... Um, also scope at, um, in the mornings, I share a faith scope about from Good Morning Girls with what we've been studying. And then usually in the two to three o'clock hour, I try to do a homeschool scope. So my daughter is going into second grade and we are also doing classical conversations. So does anybody have anything else that they'd like to ask? I just want to remind my viewers at Worshipful Living that if you're seeing this and you're wondering where the con what I'm talking about when I'm talking about comments and hearts, that is because I am on the Periscope app and you can get that app through your app store at um, Apple or Android. And But you have to watch it on those pro on one of those two um, on your devices. So you can't watch it on your computer until I upload it on YouTube. So, all right. Well, thank you for all that love. I will be seeing you guys back here in the next couple of days. I have a lot of homeschooling stuff coming up on the blog, and so I would love for you to see it. So I'm going to flip, I'm going to say goodbye, and then I'm going to flip this camera around. So I hope that you guys have a great day and worship God with your life.